Alrighty. Today I am going to be showing you how to properly use Twixter in Sony Vegas 11. First of all, you're going to want to have your clip and you're going to want to make sure that it's disabled resampled, you know, 59 frames per second, all the standard and whatnot. Um it's not hard really. What you're going to want to do is uh just go through your clip and uh find a point in it where you would like to twixter. So, I'm scoping into the wall here. And then that would be a good point right where you scope into the wall. Back that up. Okay, so you're going to want to split it at the point where you want it to start and then just keep moving it until you want it to stop. So right about there. And then you are going to want to go down to Twixter Pro and uh, I already have my preset made here. I'll just show you my preset and that'll be the easiest way if you just copy it. If you look here, uh, display Twixter output, display layer all, draw geom is checked. Uh, the only thing you should be really changing on this is the speed. Right now I just have it set at 8 just for general purposes. Track quality best, BG motion sense, 94.74. That is very important. And I'll actually turn this down to 4 because Twixter looks better when it's slower. But then you could save that as a preset like I have. And once you dragged it onto that little clip, you're going to want to extend the clip outwards and make sure to mute the audio because the audio will repeat itself. And also, Twixter kind of makes it laggy, so I'm going to put it on preview mode. And going along, you can see that he's slowly scoping in. It's nice and smooth. And I'm going to end it there. Now what you do is drag your other clip onto that one and just scroll along here to the end of the Twixter to make sure that the frames match up and they do. That's a good match and yeah that is essentially how to properly Twixter on Sony Vegas 11. See ya!